welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you what to do with those pesky little blue crystals you get in the bottom of your electroforming bath, especially if you're like me and you forget to clean it up after you're done using it. It happens. It happens to everybody. If you leave your electroforming setup unattended for any length of time, you'll find when you go to drain it or clean it or do maintenance or anything like that, or even use it again, you'll find these little blue crystals at the very bottom. And sometimes you even get crystallization on your anode and just have these like little blue crystals everywhere. So what the heck do you do with them? Well, you can actually reconstitute them back into your bath. It's a very simple process. Those crystals are copper sulfate. And that is the copper sulfate that precipitates out of the bath, especially as your distilled water in your bath is evaporating. Now I typically use about four bottles to fill my current container for my bath. I currently only really have about three full bottles and a third of a fourth bottle. So that means I've lost a lot of distilled water and hence why I have a lot of crystals right now in the bottom of my bath. But it's a very, very, very easy fix. You really only need like three things. You need a glass beaker, glass beaker, very simple. Get these off of Amazon. You need some distilled water and a glass stirring rod. If you are not putting the crystals right back into your current bath setup right now and you're gonna store it for later, uh, just need a container and a funnel. That makes it really easy to store later. But the process is super simple. Take your distilled water and it has to be distilled water. Do not use any tap water or bottled water or anything. It has to be distilled. Otherwise it will screw up your bath chemistry. And then you just take that water, heat it up. I just throw it in the microwave for a few seconds and it seems to work just fine. And once the water is nice and warm, you don't want it boiling, but you want it a decent warm temperature. You just start throwing your crystals inside it. It takes a little bit of time. It could take, you know, 10, 15 minutes, but those crystals will start to dissolve and then you can break up the bigger clumps with your stirring rod. As they dissolve, that water will turn blue and get saturated. And once all the crystals have dissolved, you just pour it right back into your container and that's it. I always lay down some plastic in case anything spills. I don't want any chemicals. Beaker, distilled water, bottle I'm going to pour my solution into, funnel to make it easier, and a glass stirring rod to stir it all. Water is not boiling, but it's nice and hot. Wear gloves. Don't handle chemicals with your bare hands. That is a giant crystallized mass. I'm gonna throw it right in there. The crystals are already starting to dissolve. The water is slowly turning blue. So where do these blue crystals come from? Blue crystals are copper sulfate and they form when your bath starts to evaporate. So as the distilled water is leaving, the copper sulfate precipitates out of the bath and forms these little crystallized shapes. And they do look really cool. If you do get the copper sulfate crystals forming all over your anode and they have crystallized all over, you don't need to get rid of that anode either. All you need to do is clean off the anode. Now what I do is I'll clean off the crystals as much as I can by hand if they're like larger, but if they're smaller, I use the steel wool. Just take the steel wool, brush it along until it's nice and clean. And once the anode is clean and free of steel wool bits, so you got to make sure, you know, you go over your anode again with like paper towel or something to clean off any uh, bits from the steel wool. 
then you're good to reuse that anode again. You don't have to get rid of it. Now, if you don't have a beaker to be able to do this, you can probably just use a mason jar, some kind of glass container or something. Whatever you use, make sure it now lives in your craft room and lives with your electroforming setup because you do not want to ever use that again for food. It has had chemicals in it. I would never trust it again by food. If you dissolve all these crystals and you add a lot of distilled water to your bath, you can potentially throw off your bath chemistry a little bit. The way bath chemistry works is it functions off a pH. So if you are, say, using only one bottle of electroforming solution and you now have a ton of distilled water with copper sulfate, you might be too low on acid, so your pH might be too high, which you can use a pH test strip just to check it. So there's a couple really easy fixes for this. So if you check your pH and you see that, you know, we've added so much distilled water because you had to dissolve dissolve so many crystals and we might just need to add some more acid. If your bath has been sitting for quite a while, especially after you, after you have done several runs of jewelry or whatever you've been plating or electroforming, um, you might need to add some brightener to kind of replenish the brighteners, which I use the Rio Grande brightener. Works fantastic, but you only want to apply about five droplets of brightener per 1000 milliliter. I will do a separate video going more in depth on bath maintenance and how to do that and what to look for and how to filter and clean it. That will be a separate video, but if you have any questions, just feel free to ask them below and I'll answer them as best as I can. Well, there we have it. There's only a little tiny bit of crystals left. I think the solution got a little bit too saturated, so that last little bit might dissolve. It might not completely dissolve, but we got those, all those, the big chunk of crystals is all dissolved. So now we just to pour it in here. I always use a funnel, it makes it a lot easier. Top off my other containers too. I hope that has answered any questions about what those crystals are and how to get rid of them. It's a real easy process. Let me know if you have any trouble with it. I can try to answer any more questions you may have about it. But if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Every little bit helps. And I just want to keep making these videos. I've been having fun with it this year. Thank you so much and I'll see you at the next one.